Tom Fitton runs Judicial Watch, as you well know, because he's a frequent guest on the show. He's been watching all of this, and he joins us tonight. What's the takeaway for you, Tom? Well, it's a terrible day for the Constitution of the country. The president has been terribly abused. Our Constitution is being attacked. And, you know, taking a step back, we have information that the United States government, more or less, was lying to us for three years about Russia collusion. Uh, and, they and, and, by the way, about Afghanistan and UFOs and fill in the blanks, the food pyramid. Right. I mean, do you know what I mean? Like, all the things we're not talking about. Right. Yeah. But the lies were designed to put this man in jail. Yes. And he's been completely exonerated and vindicated. And he was started asking questions about what went on in Ukraine as it was related to that. And now the same gang that lied about him and tried to put him in jail illegally is now impeaching him for asking questions about it and impeaching him for defending himself in response to their obsessive uh, activities with regard to trying to get his people to obsessive testify. Is, obsessive is right. And I, I hate, look, I hate to digress. I'm throwing this at you cold. You'll be forgiven if you don't want to answer it. But it's a sincere question. Why does Trump threaten these people so much? Because this is irrational. It's hurting them. They're doing it anyway. They're clearly in some kind of psychological state, unhealthy state. But it stems from the fact that he threatens them. They look at him and it's fight or flight. Why is that? Uh, they see him as a revolutionary reformist figure uh, on these issues that you have highlighted on foreign policy, on the role of government in our lives, on the nostrums that we are all supposed to be falling down around. That's right. Here in Washington, D.C. Oh, foreign aid, let's all fall down oh, yeah. and not any question, not ask any questions about how it's spent. Uh, having someone... we got to arm Ukraine. That's Tom, right. Tom, we have to arm we're, Ukraine. We're, right. If there's one thing, you know, there's one thing Jefferson and Madison agreed on, arm Ukraine. Hey, we had a FISA court yesterday say they can't believe the FBI on anything. And this man is being impeached for asking questions about that party's, the Democratic Party's, potential political nominee, presidential nominee. This is what it's about. It's about protecting Joe Biden. It's about protecting themselves from the consequences of their criminal behavior. They're nervous that the DOJ has begun asking questions. And in many ways, this is a massive obstruction of justice. Uh, and I tell you, the president needs to be sure that his defense is a lot stronger than he's allowed it to be thus far. That's uh, because this impeachment didn't have to happen. He should have been defended more strongly, legally. And the Senate trial, I don't know how it's going to turn out, but, he, but uh, those who support the rule of law need to push back hard on this. Yeah, and the irony is, of course, they've been posturing all day about the rule of law, even as they work tirelessly to subvert it. Tom Fitton, great to see you tonight. Thank you.